should have guessed. <laughs> Fascinating document, huh? Seems like this Sir Francis was in my line of work. Don't flatter yourself, Eddie. <laughs> Always ready to be enemies, eh? <laughs> Tell you what, lead me to the gold, and I just might let you live. <laughs> Is that it? Is that my deal? Die now, or help you, and die later. Oh, it's a tough call, but you know what? I'll take die now. It's nice that Drake is smart enough to know that, that he's gonna kill him regardless. I once promised treasure on this goddamn rock. And now, my men are dying. They can't even go outside to take a piss without an armed guard. And I have nothing to show for it! Maybe foreshadowing number four? I think that is. I am making you a fair offer. You help me find the treasure, and the last man alive gets the gold! And the girl, of course. The girl? Oh, Eddie, the girl's long gone. She's probably off the island by now, going for help. Dai Kuching, you were never very good at poker. I will find her, trust me. How much trouble could one girl be? Oh, they could shoot them from there. Here we go, Jeep sequence, which is pretty, pretty fun, I guess. Out of the frying pan and into what's the house is saying? Go out of the frying pan and into the oven. How got, they should have that should be the, the that should have been the title for the next chapter and into the oven. I don't know why they didn't, didn't do that. I think the next chapter is called the Lost City, which is kind of lame. That's like a really generic. Chapter name. Actually, some of the chapter names in this game are pretty bad. I'll point them out uh, as we come along to them. But yeah, some some of the chapter names are pretty awful in this game. Like they are just like really generic, or they, I don't know. They just don't really sound too good to me. I, I like uh, in this sequence. I like how you can just shoot like almost every single tree down. You just mo like your gunfire just mows them down. I think that's really cool. It's a shame how the tr I don't believe I believe the trees don't affect the enemies though. Like they drive right through the trees. Like it would be cool if. The if the trees landed on an enemy, it would like crush them and kill them. But I don't believe that happens, or at least I've never seen that happen. One thing which is a shame about this sequence is that a lot of the time, like if you look in the environment, it's pretty beautiful. Like it's great graphics per usual. Like the graphics are awesome, everybody knows this. But the, the, disappoint, the, sh sh the thing which is like a shame about this sequence is that the jungle and everything looks great, but the thing is, for the most part, especially when you're on the more uh, higher difficulties, like crushing mode, like I am right now, when you're on the, these difficulties, you're going to be going through a lot of this um, jungle with a black and white screen. And obviously, like the colors are, an, you know, color is an important part, obviously, of the environment. So if you're going through, the, through this with a black and white screen for the most part, you're going to be missing out on all of the like environment and like how awesome it looks. So, so like that's one disappointing thing about this sequence. Like, as opposed to like um, the normal gunfighting sequence, like you're just standing there shooting people, and yes, you do have a black and white screen for a lot of the time, but you're still standing in one place and, and you're waiting for your health to regenerate for the most part. But with this, you have no control over the speed that you move at, and you can't go back to revisit what you, the Jeep has already gone past. So you will, like, if you have a black and white screen for certain parts of this, you will just flat out miss how awesome and beautiful some of this uh, sequence looks because of the black and white screen. Oh yeah, by the way, next Naughty Dog game I'll be doing a let's play of will be The Last of Us. Well actually, it'll, I'll probably get around to doing Uncharted 2 and 3 on Crusher Mode by the time I do The Last of Us. But when The Last of Us comes out, I will be doing a let's play on that. That looks really awesome. I saw the E3 footage of it. The footage they showed the E3. It looks great. This bit is actually pretty difficult, by the way, I'm just saying. Yeah, 
okay, I don't really have anything to say, but you have anything else to say, please. This is probably going to be the last chapter before I turn this off and uh, end this sitting, since I gotta go to the woo. What's going on? Oh, right, it's coming to the. I was about to say what's going on. Die! I don't think it's. Oh. Uh, never mind, I, I'm. Scratch that, I'm not gonna bother saying that. Instant death moment coming up here. For those of you who haven't played the game, if you fail to shoot this jeep by here, you crash. You you and the you and the truck crash head on, and it's an instant game over. You die. Just saying. I know. Another awesome thing about this new computer I got is that it renders a hell of a lot faster than my old laptop. Like it took like four or three hours to render a 15 minute video on my laptop, but it takes like half an hour to do it, which is a massive improvement when compared to the laptop. So the bottom line is, and the lesson we have learned from this kids is that computers are much better than laptops. And also, while rendering a video, I can actually do whatever I want as well. Like, I can play Minecraft on full, like, max and stuff uh, while the, the um, video is rendering, because I have so much RAM. Which is always nice, because when, when I was on my laptop, I, can, I pretty much couldn't do anything at all on my laptop while stuff was rendering. When stuff was rendering, I couldn't really do anything at all. Because it, it was using up all the RAM. That was a shame. This jump by here is kind of... Uh, I'm not saying anything, don't worry. It's, it's just a jump. It's a video game. Okay. At least he didn't say crap. This cutscene by here is actually pretty suspenseful. I I, I, I really like this. I really like this little cutscene. Oh, but when you're bleeding. Yeah, it goes with the territory. Let's get the hell out of here. Damn it! Come on. <laughs> Going somewhere? Hey, Eddie. Did you really think you could escape from? What? Oh, no, I just giving the young lady the $10 tour. Shut it! I bet you're working for them, too. What? You thought you could set me up and keep everything for yourselves, hmm? Get down! Damn it! This guy's crazy! Eddie, take it easy, buddy. <laughs> well, you're out of luck now! And out of road. Now. That line's awesome. Out of road. Give me that map. It's one of those classic, awesome right. sounding bad guy lines. Fair and square. Hey, don't move. Relax, Eddie. Just get in the map like you asked. I said, hold on. I am. Well, hand it over. Well, now, you told me not to move. Looks like you're gonna have to come get it. I'm mean, that's a great resolution as well. I like that. I think that's a good payoff to the suspense. Here we go, chapter something, the lost city. Oh, the drowned city. Okay, I was wrong. Okay, I'm gonna be ending my sitting here. Okay, so that, this is probably gonna be the end of the part that you are watching. So, uh, thanks for watching, I guess, and see ya.